This is another Sudoku Primer video. Go to sudokuprimer.com for more techniques. Uh, this is puzzle number 58 from Sudoku to Go, Volume 101, by Soap Opera Digest. Uh, this is a medium puzzle, uh, not real difficult puzzle, uh, a little bit harder than an easy, but I chose this level to illustrate. Uh, what I call the converse or the opposite. Uh, quite often when you're doing puzzles you can um, you can start uh, you can start looking for uh, places to solve numbers but uh, sometimes you kind of miss things and uh, I, I talk about the converse here or the opp the opposite and I hope to illustrate that by going through this puzzle. Um, I think you'll know what I mean when I when I get going here. Uh, first of all, let's look at uh, a couple of patterns that we have. Right in the middle here, we've got an offset pattern, and we've got a couple of walls right here. Um, not too much more of interest, but. Uh, as we go, we'll, we may find some more things. Uh, so let me just get started. By, let's look at this offset pattern right in the middle here. Uh, you notice that all, all these numbers are filled in um, outside of this square. Typically in an offset pattern, you only need to have two numbers if they're the right numbers here. Right now, we've got 7, 5, 6, and we got a 5 and a 6 already in here. So one of these is a 7. Uh, and when a 4, 2, 8, we got a 4 and an 8. So we have a 2 and a 7 here, uh, twins. We got a 7 there already, so we know that's a 2. And that's a 7. But if we only had two and seven out here, like a two here and a seven there, we'd have five, six, uh, four, eight, and those are already in there, five, six, four, eight. So we would know what these three numbers are, even if they weren't filled in along here. Uh, what do we have? We have a one, three, nine, one, three, and nine. We've got a 3 and a 9 here, so we know this is a 1. But conversely, we know that the other two numbers are 3 and 9. So we have a 3 and 9 here. Okay, we've got a 9 here, so we know that number is a 3. And we also know that the other number is a 9. Okay. Now that was pretty easy because we already found these two numbers and then those those were pretty easy to fill in but let's look at some other things now what do we have here in this row we've only got two numbers missing what are those numbers we got a one two three four five six seven eight nine a two and a six we've got a six right there so we that know that's a two and that's a six Um, <clears throat> let's look at this row. We're missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one and four. And now on this one we can't solve those yet. And so we'll we'll just leave those for now. So let's go through sections now and we'll see if we can find some more interesting things as we go one here, so one of these is a one, one of these is a one. Okay, we got a one here, so any of those, those can be a one. Any of those can be a one. Any of those, we've got a one here, so any of those can be a one. Twos, a two and a two there, so one of those is a two. We've got a 2 here and a 2 here, so we know that's a 2 right there. Okay. Con 
conversely, well, I'm sorry, uh, there's two there already, I didn't see that right away. Okay, let's look at, uh, so we've got a four right here and a four there, so we know this is a four. Okay, and conversely, since we've finished those, we know what these three numbers are, right? We got a one, three, six, seven, eight, nine. One, three, and six. Okay, the only number we have outside here is a six right here, so we can't solve those, but conversely, we know now what these two numbers are, right? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we know these are 5 and 7. There's a 7 there. So put the 5 in and a 7. Okay. And now that we've filled in this 7, we've got a 7 there and a 7 there. We've got two 7s there, so we know that's a 7. Okay. All right, so let's go to the 3s. I think we're on 3s here. There's a 3 here, so any of those can be a 3. Those, any of those can be a three, and any of those. We have a three, 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 three. Any of those can be a three. So let's look at fours. Four. Four. One of those three. Any of those. Four. Four. So one of these two can be a four. So conversely, since we have a four here and four there, fours a ghost four is there. We know that's a four. Okay, and then we've got a four here and a four here. So we know that's a four. And conversely, we know that's a one. Now let's see what we have left here. One, two, five. We have a 2 and a 5. We've got a 2 there. So 5 and 2. Okay. And we've got a 5 here and a 5 here. So we've got 5s here. And conversely, we know these. one of these is a 5. Okay. Um, we also have a 2 here and a 2 here. So you have a 2 there and a 2 there. So we fill in that 2. Fives, I think, uh, or on fours, or on fours. We also know now that we filled those in what these three numbers are: one, three, seven. One, three, seven. We have a one here and a seven here, so we can't fill those. We can't solve these yet, so that would leave us with one, three, seven. So let's go to fives. Got a five here and a five here. So one of those is a five. A five here and a five here. One of those is a five. Now these fives are all there. And then we got a five here and a five here. So one of these two and one of these three is a five. Okay, sixes. Six. Six. One of those, six, six, six. So that one is a six. So therefore, one of these is a six. We've got a six here. So one of these is a six. Middle sixes are all filled in. Six, six, and six. And sevens. Seven, seven, seven. There's a seven there. Conversely, a seven and seven there. So that's a seven. Okay, now, yeah, if you remember, we have one, three, and seven here. And because we found the seven, conversely, now we know this is a one and this is a three because we had a one there. And conversely, we know the one, 
to, we know there's only two numbers here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4, and 5, and there's a 4 there, so that's a 5, and that's a 4. Okay, let's see, we were on 7's here, 7, 7, 7, we uh, have all our 7's, let's look at 8's now, an 8 here, so one of these two can be an 8, and one of these three. And the middle section's all filled out. In the bottom section, we've got an 8, and an 8, and an 8. So one of these is an 8, and 8 here. One of these is an 8. Now 9's, 9, 9, right there. And we've got a 9 and a 9 there, so one of these is a 9. We can't solve them yet. Middle section is done. 999. Nine, nine. There's a 9 right there. So now we can find that one. 999. Nine, nine. So that's a 9 right there. Okay. Alright, and uh, bottom, 999. Nine, nine. Okay. Let's look at this column right here because we've only got two numbers left. 1, 6, 1 and 6. There's a 6, so that's a 1 and a 6. Now we've only got three numbers here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 3, and 5. There's a 1. So we have a 3 or a 5 there. We have a 5 there, so it's a 1 or a, th this is a, one or a 3. And we have a 5 there, so this is a 1 or a 3. So we have a, a 1 or a 3 there and a 1 or a 3 there. So we know that's a 5. Another way to look at that is we got a 5 here, so that can't be a 5. A 5 here, so that can't be a 5. So this is a 5. So those are two different ways of looking at these two numbers. Either these are 1 and 3, 1 and 3, so that's a 5. Or you can see that, that there's 5 there already and a 5 there already, so that's a 5. Now we've got a 1 here, so we can solve the 1, 3's. Okay. Now let's see. We've got two numbers here. 1, 2, 3, 6, 3 and 6, and there's a 6 there. We have a 3 here now, so one of these is a 3 and one of these is a 3. We can't solve those yet. We have all our 6's. Let's look at this row, this column here. 1, 3, 8. 1, 3, and 8. Okay, there's a 3 and there's an 8, so we know that's a 1. Conversely, we know the other two numbers are 3 and 8. We can't solve either of those. Um, another way we could have seen that is we had a 1 and a 1 here, so we fill in that 1 there. All right, let's look at this row right here. 1, 2, 3. Eight, nine, three, and eight. And these are three and eight, so we can't solve those yet. Uh, but what is this? Uh, we have three eight here and three eight here. What's here? These are three eight also, aren't they? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So conversely, we have a three eight, three eight, and three eight. And so therefore, we have a 3, 8 here too. So we know that's a 4. Now we could have found that 4 by seeing there's a 4 there and a 4 there. But that's just a different way of looking at it. Because we got 3, 8 twins right here. They're all 3's and 8's. Alright. Uh, we've got a 1 here. And we've got a 1 here. So we know this is a 1, 
and conversely this is a 1. Okay. Let's look at this right here. Got 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. 3 and 6, and there's a 6 there, so we know that's a 3, and that's a 6. Now, remember our 3 8s here? I think we have 3 8s here also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, and there's a 3, so we can put in an 8 there. A 3, 8, 3, 8. Okay, now let's look at this column right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4, 5, and 8. There's a 4 and 5, so that's an 8. Conversely, the rest, the leftover ones are 4 and 5. There's a 4, so that's a 5. I'm sorry. So that's a 5 and that's a 4. So I put in 4 and 5 like that. And we just have two more numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3, and 5. There's a 3, so that's a 5 and a 3. And we're done. So I hope looking for opposites can help you see that it kind of opens up areas of a puzzle that you uh, may not have noticed before. So think about how uh, the converse can help you as you... Uh, solve puzzles. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.